You've probably heard me talking about music and neuroplasticity before. So that is the maintaining segment in my wheel of wellness. And it's all about the fact that we need to keep building new brain connections throughout life to reduce the risk of neurodegenerative brain diseases. And one of the best ways of doing that is learning a musical instrument because it gives the brain a ton of information to process, lots of things to remember. And so this is recognised, you know, as, as one of the best ways to drive neuroplasticity, which is just the scientific term for building lots of new brain connections. Very, very important thing that we should be doing at all ages throughout our entire life, because we used to think that our brain didn't change, but we now know that we can influence our brain even after we've stopped growing. So I uh, have been playing the guitar for a long time, rhythm guitar, so just doing you know, chords, being able to, to play all the chords and stuff, but I've never ever mastered lead guitar because it's a whole other level of complexity. And so last year I decided that for my brain training work, I was going to give my brain a workout by teaching my brain how to play lead guitar like Jimi Hendrix, which, you know, that is the ultimate challenge, right? If I'm going to challenge myself, then I might as well pick someone amazing like Jimi Hendrix. So I've been having guitar lessons and I've been practicing, trying to learn all the different notes. So I thought I would show you how I'm getting on. And I hasten to add before I begin, this is a work in progress. I'm showing you my vulnerability of where I'm at as a learner. But the beauty about using, um, you know, learning musical instruments to drive brain health and brain connections is that you don't necessarily have to get to the end of the journey to have the effect. So even the bits that I've learned so far, I haven't obviously haven't mastered sounding like Jimi Hendrix yet, but even the bits that I've had to remember so far and the bits that I've mastered so far have resulted in me forming new brain connections because I've had to remember a ton of different notes and different timings and things like that. So don't worry about, you know, oh, it's, it's a commitment to try and, you know, it takes a, a long time, many, many hours of practice to master something and become as good as Jimi Hendrix. However, even just like an hour or two, or even less than that of just practice will help build new brain connections. So it's something that you can just do now and then, various songs, you don't have to, you know, do exams in it or get a grade eight, you know, technical excellence. Just learn a new song um, or learn a new technique. So I'm going to start this intro and um, yeah, and you'll see where I've gone. And honestly, this is, this is you know, a work in progress, but this is how far I've got so far. remember and obviously many of them were bum notes as well <laughs> but this is the beauty of it it's just so it's just so relaxing and hypnotic once you get into something like this and the bum notes don't really matter because as you're playing it you know which ones are the bum notes so you just try and make sure you don't do those the next time around and each time you do it it should get better as your brain figures out what it's meant to be doing and fuses those new connections between the new ones. So give it a go, start learning a, a new musical instrument or start learning something different and more technical on the instrument that you can already play. <laughs> 